starts dropping that left hand here, Mike. That's your cue. Snap the hook right away. He starts slipping, Mike. He starts slapping, dropping that left hand down in here. Man, use that hook right over the top. Okay? Look, you're stepping back, bring him up. Your head's already out of the way. You step back on that back, like bring him up, hook behind him. Let him walk into the uppercuts. Use the jab more. Let him walk into the jab. As he's pushing you back, Mike, let him walk into the jab. Then after that jab, boom, drop that left hand off. Nice, but that. you ain't punching from it. Okay? You gotta be punching from it. Come on, you're letting him do what he wants to do, and that ain't no good. You got to cut him off, cut him off, and when you get close enough, punch. It's Milt Bailey in the corner with Curtis Parker. They were calling for the uppercut from Michael Nunn. Well, that was, that was good strategy, and Milton Bailey worked against me many, many a time, Al, when I was uh, training and managing fighters. And he's a real experienced pro. There, there goes Parker lunging again. It's hard not to against Nunn. We're moving to the second round. The speed of Nunn, I think, I, I think he's unquestionably the fastest of the middleweights. Oh, there's no question about that. Oh, and, uh, and, and that's what Parker is resorting to. Michael Nunn, while he's quick and he's a dandy, I'll tell you what, don't question his toughness, and you saw that there. Oh, he can get rough in a fight, no question about that. And there you see he hits Parker a little low, and there's a left hand that may have stunned Parker. He hurt him with the left. So Michael Nunn, shades of the Knox fight, gets down, and I mean he's down. Oh, there's the uppercut. There it was. We talked about it at the beginning. The uppercut would be a key punch. It was, and it has done in Curtis Parker, I believe. Yes. Michael Nunn with a second round knockout defends his NABF crown and ensures himself a shot at Frank Tate. Well, I'll tell you, that was a very, very impressive performance. And you and the corner both deserve a lot of credit. I mean, you called the uppercut before you, it took place, and they told him to use that uppercut in the corner. Joe well, Goosen said, let him let him walk into that uppercut. And boy, did he. Well, uh, listen to his corner for sure, and boy, it worked. And he's got a good uppercut. The happy trio in there, Bob Serkine, Dan Goosen, Bob, uh, an amateur official. And, and to show you the force of that punch, Curtis Parker is still down. And what it did was also develop a nasty cut, that punch, over his left eye. And uh, we certainly hope Curtis Parker is going to be okay. Well, I have Dr. Romeo and Dr. Flipamansky, two of the best in the business, taking care of him. And Michael Nunn, serious about his business, and uh, they say he can't punch, but he did tonight. I'd like, them to, I'd like somebody to tell that to yeah. Curtis Parker. Or Donnell Knox. That's for sure. And uh, these are two guys that are not easily knocked out. John Mugabe knocked out Parker, but there's no question about his power punching. All right, here we, here we see some of the action from before the knockout when things got very, very rough. There's, there's Cutie Michael Nunn pulling Parker by the back of the head, and they're all tangled up. And Padilla almost got KO'd himself that time by a left hook from Parker. And here they are, back at it again. And every, and oh, there was a head from Parker. They're wrestling. This is a, and a low blow by Michael Nunn. This was a rough fight. Everybody says that Michael Nunn's a cutie. All he likes to do is box. But he's getting to be a brawler, and he's starting to like it when he does that. He's letting it all hang out. He's, let, he's wide open there, throwing punches. And there's that uppercut, a beautiful, perfectly timed punch. Now